Hello everybody and welcome back to another video here on this channel. Now in today's video I want to uh, briefly discuss um, something that was actually brought up to me by a forum member. Uh, I do want to thank New York Eagle here for posting this on the forums. Um, and I figured I would make this brief little video talking about it because this is something that me personally, I've been looking for this for a number of years now. And I figured that you guys, you know, would find this to be uh, a little bit interesting because of uh, what this actually does. Um, for those of you who have not uh, signed up on the forums yet, if you have not seen uh, uh, New York Eagles forum post here, um, essentially what this video is going to be about is something called the Windows All-in-One DVDs. And I first heard about these probably way back when YouTube first was a thing. Um, there were people, you know, pretty old videos. I think the the video that he linked here, um, this guy, and I'm going to have this guy's video uh, uh, down below. I do want to give a huge thanks to this guy as well for making his video. What these discs essentially are is, and I'm just going to bring them over here because I do have them both mounted here on my main computer. Um... Is, is something that is very useful and something that I think all of you guys that you know watch uh, these videos and that are signed up on OS forms would really find interesting and it's why that I wanted to make this into its own separate little video because um, you know that that I think that you guys would find this you know so interesting is essentially what this is is if I run uh, the setup program here is a uh, it's two different DVDs that have every version of Windows from I think it's like Windows NT 3.1 all the way to Windows Server 2003 and it's contained on two different ISO files two 4.7 gig DVDs that you can burn to a single layer DVD and you know when you run the setup here you can go through and install any of these versions now on this first one here is all for the windows nt based operating system so we've got windows nt i, I think this is 3.1 it might be uh version 4 uh it's either 3.1 or 4 but not only do we have just nt we've got every different edition of windows nt we've got enterprise server server terminal server workstation and you even have on every single uh, version of Windows in here, you have the option to create a standalone ISO. So for something like, and as Gavin said in his video, for something like an older computer that does not have a DVD drive that you wouldn't be able to put this, because the, these discs are bootable as well, which is a super nice feature and that he uh, demonstrates in his video also. Um, but you know these if you had like an older machine that you know could not boot from a dvd you could actually go in here and create a standalone iso and i'm just going to show you that process very briefly here so let's say that you wanted to install uh windows nt terminal server you just uh, click on this here and it actually launches cd image uh version what is this 2.47 and it starts to actually build an ISO file out of the files on the CD and it drops it to the root of your C drive, um, which is, you know, which is very convenient. And you'll see here that it, you know, is relatively quick. It does not take long at all. Um, it's just going to do all of its stuff here. And once it's done, if I open up the C drive, which I'll, I'll do once it's done here. So we'll go to the C drive and you'll see that we have this new ISO file that is 500 megs which you could put on a you know regular cd uh, you know like an older single layer cd rom and you could put into like an older um you know like an older server computer or like an older desktop computer and boot and install windows nt that way or whatever uh version of windows that you want to install so it's it's very useful that way and it's definitely something um that i think you guys are going to find useful as a lot of the a lot of the um, comments that I get is I see a lot of people asking me to provide links to certain ISO files and some of these can be hard to find you know things like you know Windows NT terminal server you know that might be you know difficult to find well here it's all here for you you've got every edition of Windows NT Windows 2000 XP server 2003 and we've also got on the other CD here if I launch this one as well um, We've got all of the uh, Windows 9X. Okay, so this one is actually Windows NT3. So that other one was NT4. 
Um, so this one we've got NT3, 95, 98, Windows ME, and as well as Microsoft Plus. You've got all of the Microsoft Plus versions from 95 all the way to the Digital Media Edition, which is something that I actually, when I made my um, Microsoft Plus Digital Media Edition video, I actually had to go out and I bought a physical copy of that. And if you haven't seen that video, you'll know that, or well, you you know wouldn't know. But if you've seen that video, you would know that you know in the first little part of it, I actually did a brief little uh, like unboxing and opening of the actual CD case. But if I launch this here, you'll see that, and yeah, it, it does play all of the uh, like nice uh, like startup sounds for each of these menus. And but yeah, you see we've got plus a DME here as well, uh, you know, also with a standalone ISO um, option. And each of these like each of these little sub menus, they all kind of have the same. Like for example, I'll like launch the Windows 95 installer here. This is. I just wait for the music to stop playing, but this is the exact same, um, or not the exact same, but it's the same layout as the Windows 95 CD-ROM would have. Like if you were to, you know, buy Windows 95 and 1995, you you know come home, put the CD in, in your computer, it would load up with something like this. If you were using uh, Windows 3.1, it would you know like th this is what the auto run would look like uh, if it was supported uh, on your computer. And, you know, but it's obviously been modified to where you can, you know, run setup from here to where if you were using an older version of Windows, you could upgrade. And then you, you know, of course, have the ISO creation option. And here you've got a multitude of, of options, again, for every version of Windows 95 in there. Um, and we've also got the browse this CD, which will just kind of, you know, pop up. Um, this you know like the same uh, file explorer window so I also feel like I should uh, just briefly mention this as well on each of these different ISO files you've got uh, a readme um, text document here which contains a whole bunch of information um, I believe that the original author was this guy XISO right here this is the original author who actually made this in 2003 August 15th 2003 that is the uh, date of um, the of these two uh, ISOs and that's why that you'll notice on uh, all, all the files on the CD here if I move these windows out of the way they're, they're all dated uh, to, you know around 2003 so that is when these were first published uh, so this was pretty much a couple years after Windows XP came out and a, around the time Windows Server 2003 came out so for those of you who are you know kind of wondering why there's not anything above Windows Server 2003, well, it's because that they were made at the time that you know XP and Server 2003 were the latest and greatest edition of Windows. Um, but it is you know pretty cool that even at you know at that time something like this was able uh, to be made. Um, but anyway, also on here besides that, you've got all of the uh, hardware requirements needed for installing um, each of these different versions. You've got a couple of uh, uh, release notes here. Uh, it gives you some more information about um, every different edition of Windows that each of the D of the uh, DVDs contain, uh, which is you know pretty cool as well. You've got some install notes as well as all the CD keys as well. So um, most of this is considered abandoned where now. Um, but you know back in 2003 that definitely was not the case down here and I thought you know this was pretty funny as well it'll um, say that Windows XP yeah service pack 1a that was the newest service pack at this time uh, service pack 2 and 3 came out uh, way later I think service pack 3 was in like 2007 so that gives you a, an idea of just how old that these uh, discs are but you know, we've got Windows 2000 Service Pack 4, um, NT4 Service Pack 6A. Uh, it's got the, the two service packs for 95 and 98, and it's got uh, the Service Pack 5 for NT3.51, and Service Pack 3 for Windows NT3.5. So it's got all those. It's got um, some uh, boot disks. It's got all of the uh, boot disks included as well for these. Um, it's got older versions. There's even DOS versions on here as well. It's got, I didn't even realize it's got DOS 1.1 all the way to the DOS 7 beta on DVD 2. I didn't even realize that it had that. That must be, you probably have to like actually boot from it uh, to see that, but it's, it's got that on here as well. Um, 
It's got some extras as well. You've got versions of Internet Explorer, Windows Media Player, DirectX, MSN Messenger. Um, and yeah, as I said, XISO is the actual person that, uh, you know, made this. So, yeah, I mean, there is just a, a whole bunch of stuff on these. And I mean, these are definitely some super useful tools. Um, and I, I'm, I'm so glad that I've uh, been able to actually find these again. So yeah, you know, that is a, a brief little video uh, demonstrating this. I do want to again give a huge thanks to um, this guy right here, Gavin, for posting his original video. Um, guys, go and check out his um, you know channel here because as he does say in his video, he actually had to... I don't know if he like found the, like an actual torrent for these, but he said that he had to actually download them uh, and torrent them himself, which took him a, 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 a like a long time because there were like no people seating. So he had to actually wait like, a, you know, obviously like a couple of days uh, to actually download this. But so I want to give a you know huge thanks to him for posting these links. And I also want to give a, again a, a huge thanks to New York Eagle for posting this on the forums. Um, and making me, uh, you know, aware of this is again, I had not, uh, I, I, I had totally forgotten about this, you know, that this, that these things like actually, uh, it, you know, existed. So just a quick little video for you guys this week. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, if you did, definitely be sure to give it a like and subscribe to the channel for more videos like this, possibly more videos featuring these, um, interesting little tools here. Um, and yeah, so Thanks for watching, guys, and as always, I will see you in the next video.